Okay, I'm going to try to clarify some things so that uh, some people can maybe help me and solve a bit of my problem with side milling. So, basic setup right now is that I've uh, zeroed my table uh, to the edge of the work. What I'm going to do is, as suggested, I'm going to take off one hundredths off the face. I know it's hard to see. Uh, it's a hundredths now. The table is set. I'm going to take my dial gauge off. Now it's just quarter inch 6061 aluminum. Uh, everything in my vise is bolted down good and tight, trammed, but that obviously doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm going to lock down my Gibbs. I'm going to put a bit of pressure on my Y Gibbs and the head is locked and the quill is all the way in. Make sure it's locked. It is locked. Uh, so I'm going to be running at the recommended 3600 RPM. I'm going to use a little bit of WD-40 and uh, I'll do the 3 eighths of an inch every sorry, uh, eighth of an inch every three seconds. Nice slow feed. So I'm going to be uh, conventional milling the first pass and then I'm going to climb mill come back. It's obviously going to be fairly slow. Uh, probably edit that out and then uh, yeah we'll see what the result comes up with. it will show up very well but uh, I'll take a picture of that before I do the climb milling pass. Okay so I've done my uh, conventional milling now I'm going to run through a pass again. have not moved the table at all uh, same speed again a little bit of WD-40 and uh, we'll see what it comes back with after this. Okay, so the results are uh, about the same, maybe a little bit uh, better result, not as much waviness. Um, took some pictures and I'll put that into the video as well, of course. Now I put my dial indicator onto the spindle itself just to uh, illustrate the flex and see if that is an area of concern. So it's a fair bit of pressure and it's getting about The two thousands, I'd say, of play. Um, now, of the head itself, while I'm doing the same thing, let's see if I can get this set here. I'll lower the head down a little bit. Okay, same amount of uh, pressure. And no, it's not hitting my vice. So it's not quite as much. It's just, it's actually more pressure than I was pushing before, and it's barely moving. So. 